Does the Toyota Tacoma bug and stone deflector really work or is it just a cosmetic gimmick? Let's talk about it. Well, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to Rob Motive. Real quick, if you haven't before, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. You know, there are a lot of myths and gimmicks out there in the truck industry or the automotive industry as a whole that don't really work. So I thought it'd be interesting to get on here and kind of take a look at the bug and stone deflector that I've had on the front of my Toyota Tacoma for quite a while now. Does it really work? We're gonna get to that. But first of all, let's talk about some of these gimmicks. You know, one of the ones that I find really kind of crazy is the throttle body tornado air accelerator. Have you ever seen this device? What it does, it fits in between the cold air intake and the throttle body. It's a little device about yay big or yay wide. Typically it's red. And I think that's probably the best part of it is the color. It adds a color accent under the hood. What it's supposed to do is when the air is coming in through the the cold air intake or from the cold air intake, it's supposed to start the air spinning to increase airflow as it goes into the throttle body. That is supposed to increase power and fuel economy. You know, it's like the savior of everything. But in the end, does it do anything? Not really. It just looks kind of neat in there as a little color accent, a cosmetic or aesthetic improvement. And that's it, it doesn't do anything. And they're not cheap either. It can be rather costly. Crazy idea. Next up, there's one more that I, I wanted to mention, and that is fuel economy and the tailgate. You know, there is an ongoing, and I don't understand why, but an ongoing argument that if you drive around with your tailgate down, it increases fuel economy. In other words, it creates less drag on the truck. I think a lot of folks believe that the air comes from the front goes up over the cab, and then gets trapped right back here at the tailgate. And that puts some resistance to the truck going forward. It makes it more difficult for the truck to go forward, thus reducing fuel economy. And if you drive around with your tailgate open or even off, you're gonna get better fuel economy. Now, it's crazy. It doesn't work, it's not true. You know, there are a couple of guys, I believe the Mythbusters actually did a, a series on this, or at least a, a little myth-busting episode, where they tested that out. And they found the same thing. It doesn't do anything. Now, there are a couple of advantages to driving without a tailgate. One, it's not going to get stolen if you don't have it on the truck. And two, you can put one of those pretty cool-looking mesh gates on the end, if you will. One of those little holder-like things, whatever you want to call them. They go across the back of the truck. They look pretty cool. And again, you don't have to worry about anybody stealing your tailgate. But as far as leaving it down or taking it off to get better fuel economy, no, does not work. So let's talk about the stone and bug deflector on the Toyota Tacoma. Does it work or is it just a gimmick? Well, let's take a look at it first of all. I do like the way that it looks. I think it looks awesome on the front of the truck. It gives a black accent across the front, kind of more aerodynamic looking, if you will. Does it improve fuel economy? No, it doesn't. But it looks good on the truck, I think. Also, it is gonna protect the lip of the hood, if you will, if anything comes up and would have impacted that area. Now, does that mean that it's gonna protect everything? Well, of course not. When you're driving down the road and you're behind somebody and they flip up a stone or a rock or whatever, there is no guarantee that it's gonna hit right here on the lip of this thing, right in this area. I mean, look how small that is. What is it, about an inch? A stone would have to be coming up and hit right in this area. Now, some would argue that this changes the airflow over the hood creates a slipstream, if you will, so that when a rock comes flying up here at you, it gets caught in that slipstream and redirects the rock a different way. It might go somewhere else. Now, that's assuming that it hasn't actually hit the bug and stone deflector. I mean, come on, a stone has some weight. You'd almost have to have like hurricane force winds 
to affect the path of a stone. That makes no sense to me. What about bugs? You know, bugs are pretty lightweight. And it would make sense to me if this does indeed, and it must change it a little bit because air is gonna flow differently over the hood, but it would create a different airflow and it's possible that it could then direct bugs away from your windshield. Now, I mentioned before, bugs and stones are gonna take all different routes, right? They're not gonna always come in at this angle. They're not always gonna hit right here. They're gonna be up here, they're gonna be down here. They might be up here, which is right at windshield level. So, does it work? Well, you know, this one is kind of interesting to me because I have had this thing on my truck now for, gee, I don't know, it's been quite a while, or at least on two different Tacomas for probably a couple of years. I have no stone chips on my windshield, which is highly unusual for where I'm at. Down here in South Texas, with the extreme temperatures, the heat, the asphalt tends to be fairly soft. And that means all those little stones that are in there come loose. They fly all over the place. You can't go anywhere without seeing almost a full parking lot of windshield damaged vehicles, chips, cracks, you name it. But I don't have that. So then I wonder in the back of my mind, has it just been coincidence? Is it just luck? Does the Toyota Tacoma bug and stone deflector actually really work? No, I, I don't believe it does. I believe it's coincidence. There's no way, in my opinion, that having this on the front of the truck makes that much of a difference, simply because the profile of it is so small, everything would have to hit right here for it to make a difference. And this thing isn't damaged. It's not like a stone has hit it and chipped it or damaged it. So I don't think it makes any difference at all. I think it's coincidence, it's luck. Maybe it can redirect the path of a bug or something because it changes the stream of air over the front of the truck. Who knows? Would I have it on the truck otherwise? Yeah, because I like it. I think it adds a little bit of flair to the front of the truck, makes it look a little more sleek, and I think it matches the rest of the black accenting on the truck. The grill, the side panels, you know, whatever. All the other black stuff on the truck, I think it kind of ties it together. And who knows? If I'm wrong, and by some strange occurrence it actually does work, well, good for me, I guess. Would I put one on again? Absolutely. Now, there is one thing to consider with it. A couple people have asked, can it damage the lip of the truck underneath? Where that bug and shit, <coughs> where that bug and stone deflector might contact the lip of the hood? Of course it can. If it's contacting the hood and dirt and grit and stuff gets in there and there's any movement, well, then it becomes sandpaper. And yeah, I do think it could. So it's important if you're gonna put one of these on to make sure that you're not contacting the lip of the hood. Move it out a little bit, maybe put something across the hood, anything to protect it from any kind of abrasion that could exist if that's contacting the hood and it moves around. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, particularly if you have one. Have you noticed a big difference? Did the stone chips go away once you put the bug and stone deflector on the front of your Toyota Tacoma? I'd be curious to know. Real quick, if you didn't in the beginning, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. I do have two additional channels. My latest acquisition and new channel Rob Motive MT, all about mini trucks. Currently, my 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz. And Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Thanks for watching. Stay chip free out there. Bye.